but. who is your favorite like who is your favorite uh female artist i guess oh my god there's so many everybody from maria Callas's opera to like you know joan jed like rock there's so many so, there's so so many international women's day i'll tell you a quick women's story right so i'm doing my study abroad in italy Okay, mm -hmm. in Rome. And I got kicked out of this one art class because it was like a 300 level and they just let me sign up for it. They're like, you're not ready for this. I was like, great. They're like, the only, the only class left is opera. And mm -hmm. I was like, done. Awesome. I love it. I loved opera. My parents used to take me to operas in Pittsburgh at like Heinz Hall and all that stuff. And so I get in the class and it is 50 people, 49 women and mm -hmm. me. I'm the only guy in the class, right? And you're so, like, I, it, I did you get laid because if you didn't, that's very sad. <laughs> you know what? On International Women's Day, I don't want to call it <laughs> getting laid. I want to say I made love during operas. Yes. Why? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Boom! So I walk in and the girls just start giggling. And my one friend, the only friend, because it was the first day of school mm -hmm. in a new city, a new country, everything. I really didn't know that many people. I knew one girl in the class. would be like, what are you doing? I was like, this is the only class that was left on the, in this in the college. It was a very small university. Can right? you sing? Uh, I sang in like musicals and stuff. Oh, and cool. Growing up, I mean, you guys can you? Karaoke? I feel like all of you guys could do karaoke, right? I, I was like, mm -hmm. I, I was picked to be thirteen uh, soloist in like an inter, uh, like a national or some sort of See, thing. There you I, go. I can't remember what the name of it was because I'm very old. Um, <laughs> but it was something. Yeah, it was like a big auditorium of singers and choruses from all over Nebraska oh, and nice. stuff like that and I was one of the nice. 13 nice. songs. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so for, for International Women's Day, what would be one of your favorite female artists? Uh, for me, it like, I don't know, it kind of like begins and ends with with like Gladys Knight. Oh, I love that old good, style. Yes. Like, you know, like she the, kicks ass. Gladys Knight and the Pips, uh, the Supremes. That mm -hmm. That's like, my, my grew up on that Motown, Motown kind of sound. Is, yeah. Yeah, that was like my dad and mom like introduced me to those artists soon, even up to like the Pointer Sisters. I love yeah. like that kind of that's where like Motown almost stopped for me was like at the Pointer They're just Sisters. all those people are just so much cooler than us. I know. Like yeah. I'll never be that cool. Yeah. The Motown people. I won't either. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Heart. You know, heart is awesome. Heart is heart. awesome. Heart. Heart's good. I saw them actually. Uh, the Bengals opened for them. No at way. The, that's at a the great Greek. concert. It was really great. And um, uh, Anne Wilson, who's a singer, um, yeah. um, she just came out and just rocked it. Like, oh, like she's it. like this bigger woman now, yeah. and she just sang exactly how she used to sing. Like Barracuda, to totally kicked ass. Awesome. I was blown away. Awesome. She, yeah, awesome. Nancy, does, Nancy does great soundtrack songs. Yes, yeah, she does. Yeah, and yeah. Nancy wasn't a great okay. Yeah, she did Vanilla Sky. Yep, yeah. and also uh, stuff on Jerry Maguire. Mm -hmm. That was really great. She do um, some uh, Led Zeppelin song on singles. Was oh yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah. yeah. No, I think no, so. Sheryl Crow did that. Dire Maker, right? Didn't she? Dire Maker. She did. Did she do a cover? Yeah, okay. she did a cover. Dire okay. Maker is really fucking good. Oh, okay. Is, my yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> fucking <Not> Christ! <laughs> <laughs> <Not sorry. laughs> my, mine would be Nina Simone, uh, just because oh, I, I love man. her to pieces. And if you haven't seen that doc on Netflix, do yourself a damn favor. Um, and I, you got to give it up to Madonna. How can you not? This is a woman that She's changed cool. the yeah. game in the '80s completely. Uh, whether you approve of what she did, some some uh, outside of the business, her work in the studio on that mic, a lot of women were inspired by the stuff she did. So you gotta give yeah, it up to her. Yeah, just anybody that just doesn't give a fuck and they just you know. Yeah, belt. As long as they're not Selena. offending anybody, Selena, <laughs> Selena <laughs> right? Bum Gloria Bum. Stefan, why not? Yeah. Go, dude, Miami yeah. Sandwich. What about you, Brett? You didn't. I, I'm trying to think. There's the, this. I she she killed it at the Grammys this year. Brandy Carlisle. Oh, Carlisle. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's cool. Oh I think, my I think God, that. that Tore me apart. I mean, we haven't really Beautiful. even mentioned Whitney Houston. And Dolly Houston. Parton was at the Grammys yeah. too. Whitney. We haven't really mentioned Whitney Houston, but if, if <sighs> I want to dance with somebody, comes on a dance floor, <laughs> oh. and you don't dance, there's something. There's wrong something with you. wrong I with mean, you. Yeah, that's a that's, that's a song. <sighs> Janis Joplin, mm -hmm. uh, Adele. You know who? Grace Adele. Adele. But you mentioned Maria Callas. Yeah. yeah. Which is so we went to see this like Maria Callas tribute in Milan, which uh -huh. was incredible, I'm right? So jealous. And it was like this outdoor opera concert. There's probably like fifteen thousand people um, in in Milan, and our opera class got to go to it, right? Like the school <laughs> sent us there. I'm there with forty nine girls, and this one girl comes up to me, and this is about like the semester is twelve weeks long, fourteen weeks long, and this is about six weeks into the class, and this girl comes up to me, she's like, um. Did you just take this class to like pick up chicks? And I, was like, <laughs> I was like, no. But at this moment, it does seem like that, and I appreciate you kind of calling me out on it because you're the only person that in six weeks has even said anything to me about it. Like I was that dude. I walked in, and here's the thing: I'm not some like I wasn't some nerdy uh, uh, like sure opera. Sure, you were. <laughs> some like nerdy opera guy that walked in with like an ascot. He was like, <clears throat> I prefer the first uh, movement of Verdi's this and that. I'm like, uh, I love Maria Callas. Yeah. I mean, my grandma. So my you know I'm Italian. So yeah, my yeah. great grandparents and yeah. my grandparents 
grandparents. Oh, yeah. Listen to Maria Callas mm -hmm. on loop. You know what I mean? Yeah. Did and you get her, her? But did you get her number? <laughs> did I get her number? <laughs> she wasn't exactly my type, John. And Fair by enough. my type, I mean okay. insulting me into my face. <laughs> well, that, that's foreplay for me. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Wait, so switching gears since we were talking sure. about music, and uh, people are like, why are you talking about movies? What about women in film? Whether it's every oh. action hero, superheroes, whatever. Because there's so many. I've always had this amazing, like, not crush physically, just crush performance-wise on Annette Benning. She's mm. so rad. I love She's her. She's a mm. badass. Person. I saw her. I went to um, uh, the Stanley Kubrick exhibit at the LACMA <gasps> a few years back. Yes. Wasn't it that was so a great, great. exhibit. Yeah. yeah, I spent, I think I, I had to be kicked out of there. I was, I was there just for there like four or five day. hours, yeah. yeah. So I'm at the the bar at Lackman. Here's like a little life hack. The bar at Lackman serves Pappy Van Winkle. And if you like bourbon, you can rarely find it in places outside of whiskey bars. But the bar at Lackman serves it. So I had like four Pappy Van Winkles before I went into Stanley Cooper <laughs> exhibit. And I see Annette Benning, And she's sitting there just looking at it. And she's got those big um, eyeglasses that she wears, you know. And, and she's sitting by herself. And I just sat down next to her. And she's like, and she looked at me. And then she looked forward. And then she looked back at me. And she goes, isn't this amazing? I go, Yes. <laughs> I had no, I yes like, I'm, you're like, I'm drunk sitting next I'm to Annette Benning. I had no idea what we Stanley were even Cooper looking shit. at. Yeah. Like, I was like, okay, <laughs> Kubrick. It was just me and Annette Benning sharing a moment. And she's like, enjoy the, enjoy the exhibit. I was like, yeah. I will. And then I thought, you know what? I could do the creepy thing and follow her, but I just sat there and just yeah. had like one of those out of body experiences that I just sat down next to Annette Benning at a Los Angeles museum. It was pretty cool. She's pretty awesome. awesome. But yeah, Patricia Arquette, ever since True Romance. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh such a good that. movie. Have you seen the trailer for The Act? It's no, coming out no. on Hulu. She plays the mom. It's a true story about this this woman that uh, this mom that like basically tells everybody that her daughter is sick and allergic to everything. Mm. And oh have, yeah, it's a true story. Is this yeah. a movie or a TV it's show? It's going to be a TV show oh, okay. on Hulu. It's a limited series. What is Patricia that called Arquette. when they keep the, the, it's a, there's a, a sim like where you keep your kids sick? Mm, and when I don't they're, know that. Like a oh, bubble wow. boy. Riley, could you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That? Well, you keep your kids sick on purpose. No, no. That, yes. where, oh. and, and, but, oh, so they constantly need. You. And is this yeah. the one where she did it to also get into like you know like get skip lines at Disney? Disneyland, oh, yeah. this, oh, that yeah. kind of a thing, you know, yeah. and, and, and oh, get 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 grants and things. So Maybe I should story. get a kid. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Skip lines at Disneyland. I still have a recover from that time cover with that woman breastfeeding her 14 year old child. Yeah, still, that that's what? unsettling. That kind of so it's <laughs> weird. The mother son connection that goes on, like Brightburn, that trailer came out this week. Oh, You're like, yeah. Yeah. What's oh, that going looks on here? so fun. Yeah. I'm so. Can we go? Do you want to go, Josh? Let's go see it together. Yeah, come on, from your night. Listen, I'll get us tickets. You have one. You have one get out of jail free card. Uh, <laughs> so use it wisely. Okay. Do you want to use it on Brightburn? Uh, no, I'm going to use it for delusion. No, because I can't tape delusion. Mm. So one of the other mazes. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. This year. Happy Halloween to me. Well, you talk about women in film. Yeah, who do you got? And going back, I mean, you have to go. Like, I know everyone's like, oh, it's so powerful now, but, but you got to go back in time. Remember, Betty Davis was a badass woman. Mm -hmm. Joan Crawford, Barbara mm -hmm. Stanwyck. It wasn't that women just arrived to be leads no. in films. People they People need to go back and yeah. study their history. Women have been powerful forces since the beginning of film. And Mary Pickford was part of United Artists, for God's sakes. Mm -hmm. So you got to go and look at these things and uh, study your history. So they laid a great groundwork for what we see now. Absolutely. Did, did yeah. you watch Feud, Betty and Joan? Did any of you oh, ever yeah. Yeah, that was on great. FX. What great trash team. I do I mean, love FX. So. FX is great. Mm -hmm. But it's you know, it's all about the making of Baby Jane, right? And mm -hmm. how Joan Crawford and Betty Davis were basically the, sort of at the ends of their careers at that time. And Joan Crawford was this crazy person, and so was kind of Betty Davis. They were terrible mothers, all this kind of stuff. It was a really fascinating story. But the, the other flip of that side is like every studio head was just like, man, show me your legs, sweet tits. Mm -hmm. Like it was it was a lot. It was like Jack Warner. I mean, these were they were representing <laughs> real people, yeah. and it was a very disturbing show from from that angle. It's, it's similar in, in to Last Tycoon, which was on Amazon, which was one of the worst shows yeah, you'll ever watch. Because it, uh, Frazier, uh, Kelsey Grammer, mm -hmm. just plays Great this complete show. studio douche. Like mm -hmm. it is horrendous, yeah. and it's like okay. I get it, these guys were ab absolutely terrible, but you have to have some one redeeming quality, just one. Well, and, yeah, and no, of, nobody's black and white. No, and none of these Even guys ever did. Up. Well, that's what they tell you in acting class, which is so <laughs> weird, is they're like, you have to find the good in every character you play, even if it's Hitler. And I'm like, oh, man, what am I, the waitress at Wood yeah. Ranch? I mean, at uh, Yard House. <laughs> Shoot, it's not Wood Ranch. I, I love Wood Ranch. I love Wood Ranch. It's the other restaurant. It's Yard House. I'm sorry. What have you done? What have you done, Josh? <laughs> <laughs> I was just oh, Wood Ranch shit. tweeted at me the other day. They were oh, like, no. "Come in anytime." I'm like, oh. "I do all the time." <laughs> oh man, you messed up, Yosh. I did. I did. Yosh, Yosh, yeah. it. But I'm glad you brought up uh, old school women. Yeah. But at least I, for the women I grew up with, like I, 
was obsessed with Ellen Ripley. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. I mean, yes, Sigourney Queen. Weaver Queen. in general. Yes, Queen. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, and Ghostbusters too, freaking oh, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, obviously, Sarah Connor. You yeah. know, there's just yeah. so many like 80s. Jamie Lee Curtis, Nev Campbell. Yes, right. uh, yes. Uh, uh, All the horror people. Heather Langenkamp. Oh. Hey, hold on. Heather Langenkamp was in an incredible show called Just the Ten of Us. <laughs> Cool. I remember that show. It was a spinoff of Growing Pains. <laughs> That's one of the shows I, I used don't to watch know too. If you're right, I'm gonna look that up. <laughs> no, I, th I think he's actually right. Was she one of the Pretty ten? Because you guys know that Jamie Lunar was in it. I remember Jamie Lunar was one of the girls okay. in that. I mean, I'm, that's I, with the I, fat I, coach, right? The fat yes. coach. I think Love you're right. Is a game. Talk about a great song. Yeah, good uh, TV theme songs. Do you guys know that I used to? My mom used to make us watch sitcoms in English, so I, so we would learn smart. the language. Josh McCooker, you were right. <laughs> <laughs> See, <laughs> there you go. TV. <laughs> um, Riley, who you got back there? We haven't heard from you much today. Uh, well, we miss you in here. It was just a little crowded, and it gets very hot. And I pit out through a blue shirt. Perfect. He doesn't care. This is <laughs> great. <laughs> He's great like, TV. finally, I don't have to be in there. <laughs> finally, I can just sit here. Riley by hates women. Let me try to figure it out here. Hold on. <laughs> don't, don't tell you, <laughs> Brett, Brett. Who oh you boy. <laughs> <laughs> who are some of your uh, favorite ladies in film or oh, TV? Whatever. Oh geez, I, I think I, I now I'm blank. I, I I think I had some ready, and then people <laughs> said them, and now I'm just like. Oh, you said Patricia Arquette. Yeah, I said Patricia yeah, Arquette. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Oh, who are we talking about? Uh, Cat Catwoman. Uh, oh, uh, Michelle Halle Pfeiffer. Berry. Michelle Pfeiffer. How oh, yeah, dare Pfeiffer. you? Oh yeah, I do like Halle Berry. She's pretty cool, but Michelle Pfeiffer. Oh yeah, that's a yeah yeah yeah. That is a I'm I'm. I mean, I think I'm pretty straight, but I feel like not I have, with her. I'm one of those dudes that has like a, a weird story about a lot of different celebrities, and yeah. it's not like name dropping. Like, oh, I'm, so Matt Michelle Pfeiffer. So I was like, me, Michelle Pfeiffer, Ned Benning, Warren Beatty. We're hanging out with Stanley Kubrick. No, so I'm in New York, right? And uh, as when I was living in New York, and my mom and dad were visiting, and we were on West Broadway in Soho. So like a lot of celebrities obviously live down there, and we we're coming out of this restaurant, and this woman walks by me, and I just looked right in her eyes, and I was like, oh my god, it's Michelle Pfeiffer. Like, I, d I said that in my brain. I didn't say it out loud. I just, like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know. I was, she's walking by. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Catwoman! Yeah. So she's walking by. My mom's like fumbling around in her purse. My dad's fumbling around in my mom's purse trying to find the keys of the car. And I just go, I think, I was like, Michelle Pfeiffer just walked by. My mother just like drops her purse. She goes, No, she didn't. And I go, Yeah, she did. And my dad goes, Where? And I go, I think that's her. And my mom starts speed walking, like mall walking, <laughs> to try and catch up to Michelle Pfeiffer. You know, I've never seen a woman. Uh, my mother is amazing. International Women's Day, that's every day for my mother. Uh, she, like, power walks past her, but doesn't look back, and then gets to the intersection, crosses the intersection, hits the thing, and then acts like she's going to cross the street, and then turns around, looks at Michelle Pfeiffer, and then turns back and crosses the street, cross the street, comes back, and she goes, it was Michelle Pfeiffer. Aww. That's actually pretty the, cute. That's the cutest thing. That's really cute. <laughs> it was really adorable. That's awesome. Oh Riley, do we have Riley on the mic uh, coming in hot? Riley, are you there? Uh, traffic, traffic <laughs> yeah. on the nines with Mark Riley. Hi, Josh McCuga. Yeah, I'm here on Barham Boulevard, <laughs> and the wind is just blowing like a little bit, and it's, it's really a weird. Breeze. It's a slight breeze. Um, I people are still driving, and uh, everything seems to be fine over here. Back to you. Thank you, <laughs> Mark. <laughs> hey, Mark. Before we leave you in the helicopter, there. Yes. Any thoughts on women in film or favorite ladies in music? I can't. I can't believe that nobody has mentioned my uh, oh, my very first crush, shit. Carrie Fisher. Yep. Oh, uh, she's that, the one. We she's, reserved it for you. you yes. yep, she's we the know one. you're the biggest Star Wars nerd in here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah well, uh, so they say on the internet. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, Chill. she's. She is. I am. A, I, I cannot. Five dollars is five dollars to see a Star Wars movie. So I'm taking that straight to Del Taco. Um, Carrie Fisher was the one that I. It just got me. She she got me. She was my first crush. I was I'd have I'd want to go to bed dreaming about her. I would like really try really hard to, to, to have a dream hey. about her All where right. I was Head saving <laughs> the the, the re hey, rebellion yeah. with Princess Leia by my side. Hey champ, why don't you sit this one out? <laughs> <laughs> You're saving. I would, easy now. He's I like would. I was saving the rebellion. 